Wow. <laughs> I hyped that up so much, oh, he was, and we were muted. He was doing an absolutely fantastic job of uh, voice acting. Yeah, it let was, me uh, go ahead and do well. it again. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to round seven of the Pro Play Tour Invitational. I'm Alex Simo, joined by Mr. Joseph Rothschild, and it is time. The man, the myth, the legend, Jeff Leonard. He's back, baby. He He's back, is baby. Back. And shockingly, he is still live. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was kind of expecting that by this point in the tournament, uh, either an opponent would have murdered him uh, or he'd be X3. Uh, really, o the only two outcomes, but he is X2 with only two rounds to go. Pick up this and a draw, and he might be in the top 16 of the Orlando Players Invitational for 10 thousand dollars are you doubting the almighty power of jeff leonard yeah, is that I, what you're telling me it's not a when or it's not an if it's a when <laughs> for sure i think the best part is that uh jason leonard his son because they are a father-son duo uh he's doing better than jason who's playing spiral yeah yeah <laughs> that's not? hilarious well i mean people came to beat spiral didn't come to beat jeff yeah so uh for those of you who don't know who jeff leonard is jeff leonard is a uh, 51 year old man who uh plays Yu-Gi-Oh with his son and it's uh, it's so adorable and he's one of the nicest people ever He's playing Mystic Mind Burn. <laughs> now, this is interesting, though, because, funny enough, Card of Demise getting hit on the ban list actually hurts this deck. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, here he is, um, and he still has a chance of topping this event. This yes. is round seven, and like you said, uh, there's nothing else that needs to be said. His opponent is uh, uh, Tony, I believe the name is. Yes. Yep. Tony playing uh, Spiral, of course. Uh, but we just had to get Jeff in here because we didn't know if we were going to get the chance to, and the fact that he's still in... Ladies and gentlemen, let's get into it. So the one thing I like if I'm in Jeff's position is that uh, my opponent is playing the same deck as my son. So he's at least got experience in the matchup. Yeah, I mean, again, you said when you were talking to Jeff, he came prepared to beat this deck. He came prepared for a lot of things. His deck is slightly different than the last time we saw it. It's playing a lot, you know, better cards. Uh, Things like Silent Wobby in the main over DD Guide and ooh, Jeff's going first. Extravagant. Jeff's going first. That is so big for him, though. <laughs> now, one of the other uh, new additions to his deck, if you haven't been following, is the release of Cauldron of the Old Man, which actually is a replacement in Jeff's case for the old fabled Wave Motion Cannon. And Wave Motion Cannon is just a miserably bad card. Yes. Just terrible. Cauldron of the Old Man is a welcome replacement, and here's Droll. Now, the thing is. This doesn't exactly hurt Jeff too much. Like and he really only draws once, and uh, drolling while you're under extravagance, eh, it's not that big of a deal. Yeah, it's like okay, fine, right? And but the thing is, like Jeff's hand now, it's loaded with six cards. He, I don't know if he has everything he needs, but I mean, we'll just oh, have to there's see. It's a terraforming shoot. Maybe that droll mattered more than we thought. Yeah, that's true. I mean, but again, typically with Jeff's deck, he does not necessarily uh, do a ton of searching. So the bad part of Mystic Mine is that it no longer has the ability. Oh, Ooh, but the set one pass. Okay. Now, now, we don't know if that's, if that's like a metaverse. No, we know what it is. Oh. Uh, it's a curse seal of the forbidden oh, spell. Is, wait, he's main decking it? Oh, yeah. Oh, why not? When is this at? Jester Confit? Oh, there's a lot going on here. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. Oh, my gosh. I, I didn't know we were going back to, like, what, 2014? Discarding a snake. He actually hit it. Fantastic. Oh, wow. Hey, this is Spiral. Okay. Hey, you know, I would actually consider uh, using Curse Seal of the Forbidden Spell on this card. So, Jester Comfy. Looks like he is, too. Yeah, I mean, Resort yeah. is... Oh, it's Dark, Dark Bribe. Bribe. Okay, I was going to say, he's not main decking Curse Seal. Yeah, I no. guarantee you he's not main decking it. Dark Bribe makes a little bit more sense. Um, but Jester Comfy's really <laughs> interesting because it is a level one, so you have it uh, for your Where Arf Thou to help you get your quick fix. It's also basically an extender, so you can just have another monster on the board. Uh, I don't uh, know. If he doesn't have a spiral in hand, that's kind of the end of the turn, right? Uh, potentially, but nope, unfortunately, nope, there's the monster reborn or, uh, for the master plan. So that's a bit rough. Uh, I thought it was a quick fix send. It's a master plan. We have much more ambitious takes. Yeah, they both have blue in them, and all we could see was the corner, so I missed that. But Well, it looks like Jeff has lost this game. Uh, uh, <laughs> unfortunately. I mean, again. We'll try again next time. Yeah. It's fine. I mean, again, he already won the die roll, so at least he gets you know, to control his fate for once. But And Jeff doesn't hate going second. You know, um, uh, routinely we've seen a bunch of spiral decks that fail to end on something like a um, Trigate Magician. Or if you just, or Trigate Wizard, as it were, uh, if you just fire a Mystic Mine, how do they beat that? I, I still think it's incredible that, in as uh, to put it as you did, the sea of spiral that yeah. is in the current top tables right now, 
how Jeff is still like managing to navigate the waters of you know <laughs> the spiral matchup. I mean, again, he's he's probably I, I'm pretty sure he's beaten a few mm -hmm. by this point. So um, yeah, for sure. Uh, I do like uh, Jeff's build is is just so heads up, but man. It, unfortunately, it can't be droll. I'm interested, if he were to win, to pick his brain about how he's been overcoming a card that, uh, as you said earlier, basically everyone has been main decking. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, again, I, I don't think it hurts as much as it should, but in this particular instance, it actually did hurt just because he needed that one follow-up search did uh, for the terraforming. Wait, is he not able to OTK? Hold up. I feel like you should just be able to make Boral Sword and then... Oh! Curious. Okay. Wait, is Jester Confit like a fiend it's or something? A yeah, I think it's. Yeah, I think it might be a fiend. I'm gonna have to look that up because well, it's, it looks like a spellcaster. In any case, Barricade Board Blocker is a machine, and Master Plan is a spellcaster. So. Yeah, find out that third one. So here we go. Curious is going to essentially get Tony whatever he needs at this. Confit's point. Confit's a spellcaster. Hold up. Oh. I, I, you know, I, I think they're fixing it. They're fixing it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right as you were about to leave, I think they're... <laughs> oh, wait. Yeah, yeah. He just made Link Rebo with the Jester Comp. No, That's okay, fine. Sure. Okay. That, that circumvents it. Yeah. Link Rebo's already native to the deck. It's Cyber. So, okay. Problem solved. <laughs> oh, my Again, goodness. Again, it's Jester Confit in 2020. Yeah. <laughs> it's fine. Quick, quick fix. No pun intended. Um... You intended that pun. What I actually, I actually didn't. The, is the funny thing. There's so, a lot. Of, there's a lot of times it's intentional. This is not one of them. There goes where Arf thou and two other cards I can't see. If I'm Tony, I think a really funny thing to do, not necessarily he, a good one. Oh, he's just attacking with the. Cu oh, what? No. Oh no. What? Oh, no. Why did you not just foolish burial Tony, quick fix? You could have avoided all of this. What on earth? He surely had the OTK. All right, Jeff, show me what you're made of. Show us why they call you the king of games. I'm oh, in, no. I am in shock. He's got to be kicking himself over this. I mean, no, no, no. There is no way he could not have OTK'd that last turn. I am convinced. <laughs> Dodie's thinking, yeah, terraforming. What's the worst that could happen? Well, I mean, he already saw Dark Bribe, so like, he already knows Jeff isn't playing anything. Right. The thing is, okay, one thing we have to disclose to the viewers here, you don't see it here in the feature match because we don't let the players use play mats. Jeff has a Mystic Mind play mat. Yeah, he's hiding nothing. He literally lets his opponent know what deck he's playing and how he's about to slaughter them, and there is the Cauldron <laughs> of the Old Man. He's got to read Cauldron man. of the Old Man, so and I do too. So Cauldron of the Old Man is the now better version of Wave Motion Cannon. When you activate it, you place a counter on it, and every single one of your standby phases, it also gets a counter. So that's very similar to Wave Motion Cannon. The thing is, it deals 300 damage for each counter on it when you activate it during your turn. The thing is, so when you have one counter, it deals 300 damage, two counters, 600, three, nine, and so on. This card actually wins two turns quicker than a Wave Motion Cannon would. And you're probably wondering why I'm saying two. Well, with Wave Motion Cannon, you have to wait until the next turn, or excuse me, the turn you play Wave Motion Cannon, it doesn't actually do anything. So that's technically a turn, and then plus eight is nine turns, whereas this card wins in seven. Okay, so we have and, uh, three wait, and wait, 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 six, wait. right? Oh, actually, there is an extravagance being used. I think we need to stop that really quick oh. because it has to be used first. Unless Tony just passed and I missed no, it. No, Tony did pass. Oh, you wow, he it. really passed at yeah. the time I was talking about this? Oh, <laughs> yeah. my God. Uh, and it isn't that you've been rambling. It's that he has nothing to do. Okay. Uh, so we missed the three on the first activation and the six on this activation. He's using it again, so now we're going six. So that's the six. I already got it. Oh, you already got it? Okay. Oh, man. Yeah, I was too busy rambling, explaining to people how Cauldron of the Old Man works, and there we go. Tony can't do anything. I, I mean, what do you do for, um, in this scenario if you're the spiral player? Uh, does utility wire Tony, out this? Do you see Tony shaking his hand? <laughs> I mean, do you go to game two here? What on earth are you waiting on? The thing is, I'm trying to think of what out spiral actually has, and, like, unless you're playing utility wire, what else could you possibly have? Oh, a you're second one. Oh, God, a skull. Uh, sir, yeah. you can actually activate... Uh, Pot of duality under extravagance. Yes, it's just drawing. Unfortunately for you, duality is not, in fact, a draw spell. Just a quick Looks discussion. Like just clarify. Judge is going to confirm. Yes, in fact, you are allowed to duality. And that goddess scolds oracle. That's uh, you mind recapping that card. For yes, our... uh, goddess scolds oracle. Uh, for people who do not know, is a continuous spell card. And what you do is you look at the. It's basically spiral gear drone in a spell card mm -hmm. that you can activate every single turn. 
And so what's great about this is that Jeff has the ability to essentially sculpt the top of Tony's deck to ensure that Tony will never draw an out to his Mystic Mine or to his Cauldron or whatever card he doesn't want necessarily. This is part of the lock that Jeff slowly takes the time to craft over a couple of turns, and if he establishes it, it's it's game over. And uh, it looks like we're getting an appeal. A, an, an appeal. Yeah, so we're getting the appeal for the... <laughs> the uh, judge just walked by and shook his the head. The Extravagance like, yeah, well. Duality ruling. Um, do you want to pull up Extravagance? I'm fairly certain yeah, this works. Yeah, I, I do not need to. Uh, okay. As someone who played a lot of uh, Guru decks, I can assure you that you are, in fact, allowed to Extravagance into Duality. Um, I mean, if if Tony is disputing it, yeah, the head judge just got called. So I mean, we're we're we're, we're not just waiting on that. No, we're trying to resolve this as quickly as Here we can. Here he comes. Yep, he's coming right now. Don't worry, the players will receive a time extension, as much as uh you know Jeff wouldn't want that because he's playing burn. But this should be uh, quickly taken care of. For those of you in the chat, if for this isn't a matter of the ruling itself for right. the judge. The player has the right to appeal a ruling if they feel something is not correct. Mm -hmm. um, and this is an instance where that's the case. As uh, you know, it may sound kind of silly, but I mean, you know. Um, so once you get this Goddess Gold's Oracle, I, I feel pretty confident that the game is locked up. I 100% agree. Uh, uh, he, you're denying Tony any ability to get to any possible out all right, that let's, he may Let's have. throw that third card on the pile. What do we got? There we go. Demise, Demise of, of the Land. land. That's a little late for that. And so he's going to take the Goddess Gold's Oracle. Uh, if you're Tony, this is where you enter the scoop phase. Yeah, I, I would very, very uh, highly consider not playing this one out. And it's going to be activated. All right, so Goddess Gold's Oracle, as uh, Simo told you earlier, is in fact Spiral Drones, but much better. <laughs> it lets you do it every turn. And uh, while you don't get to play the unbelievable combo that is Spiral, uh, you do get to Fate Seal, which is just as strong against a deck that requires a very specific answer. Okay. Jeff is also on main deck Prohibition, and it gets you information about what your opponent might do to stop you. Yes, and I think that is what's so, what's so cool is that he gets to Goddess Gold's Oracle, look at the top three, and uh, Jeff's actually dealing 900 damage here. Uh, whoopsie, what did I do? There we go. Um, so Jeff gets to look at the top three, and then if there is the remote threat of a card on the top of his opponent's deck, he then has the ability to use a prohibition, call that card, and then that just seals that card from being used for the rest of the game. So let's say the opponent, for some reason, is main decking Twin Twister. which is As one does. Yeah, I mean, that's not, like, completely ridiculous. But, I mean, it's like, I would say it's traditionally in the side deck. But for whatever reason, you could just Prohibition Twin Twister and it's over. And Tony sees speaking the writing of the over. Wall. This one is wrapped up. Jeff Leonard <laughs> takes game number one. Oh, and man. we're going to the side deck. So if I'm Jeff, the things I'm worried about here are utility wire if my opponent is playing it. Uh, I'm similarly frustrated if they do something like go from a Curious into a Griffin combo and set a copy of Anti-Spell Fragrance. Wait, is Tony letting Jeff go first? I think the idea he has is that Jeff isn't going to be able to play Mystic Mind going first. That is an incorrect idea, as uh, we have knowledge of Jeff's list, and he's got a couple of things <laughs> to ensure that that Mystic Mind sticks. This might... Tony might regret this decision the for other the thing rest is, of his life. If he specials something like a Silent Wobby, which we know he plays, mm -hmm. uh, then his opponent is locked out of evenly matched for the remainder of the game. Yes. Um, so Silent Wobby. Oh, that is a monster in the open. I, I was going to say is. What else would he be playing? I, it looks like sure. it. He's looking at the grip real quick. Hmm. The thing is, okay, so for those of you who are familiar with Jeff, you know he used to play Different Dimension Guide, which would just immediately force itself onto the opponent's side of the field. This Pot of Duality is telegraphing. Well, there's Left Arm Offering. That might be good enough. There's also Droll as well. But uh, so DD Guide just put itself onto the opponent's field. Silent Wobby actually just just flops itself onto the opponent's field. It doesn't have to transfer control. Because uh -huh. what Jeff was saying was that... Oh, it's Pathfinder. It's Planet Pathfinder in Jeff's hand. To get to the mine? Unbelievable. Oh, my God. But the problem is he doesn't have a monster on Tony's field. Yet. Yeah, in that case, that's the problem. You know, we can't left arm offering into Silent Wobby, for example. And, yeah, so as I was saying, uh, Jeff was saying players were actually starting to Valor and Imperm the DD guide so that it wouldn't switch control. Yeah. So Silent Wobby now just drops itself on the opponent's field. You don't have to worry about it. Yeah. 
And um, I believe uh, Jeff, Jeff was telling us, I don't know how true this is, that Silent Wobby's draw effect is an activated ability. So it doesn't even matter. Which is hilarious. He is he's, taking left arm. He's going for the left arm. Let's go, baby. Okay. So if you have Planet Pathfinder. We can go left arm into field barrier, I maybe? was going to say, can you just do that? That's fine. Uh, we lead with the Pathfinder, of course. Of course. We might already just have mine in the hand he's also. He's got a trap as well. Yeah, oh, he, he already has he mine. He just has mine. Yeah. Tony goes, fine. Left arm, left four arms, cards. The I don't need these. Hand. I don't need these cards. Garbage. They're nothing to me. Left arms, the whole hand. There's field barrier. And he says, go. What could you possibly do? He's got to read field barrier. So field barrier is an extremely old card. Uh, it says no one can activate field spells, first of all, which has a lot of utility against spiral specifically. But secondly, uh, any field spells in the field zone can't be destroyed. So Mystic Mind doesn't die by its own effect at the end of the turn. The issue with this is that uh, Spiral has Agent and Tough. So it's not difficult for them to have a way to pop the field barrier. How are you going to activate Tough under Mystic Mind, Oh, wait, mind, mind, never, mind. <laughs> never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. It's insane! Never mind. It's an unbeatable combo. He's, he passed. He, he passed. Uh, he, he just passed. passed. It works. All right, Jeff, let's find a win condition. Nope. <laughs> and here we go. Now we're just going to play the draw game. Now, ideally, I, I assume that Tony has, like, brought in a twin twister, at least. I mean, he had to, right? He just passed again. He got the goddess skull. <laughs> That's the end of the game. Oh, no, oh it's not. No, no, it's not. He needs the win condition. Well, I mean... He'll draw into the win condition. What was that one for one droll, and I couldn't see the third card? The third card was Spellbook of Knowledge? Is that, like? that can't there's be. There's no way that was Knowledge. I guess you're on Confit. I mean, that's true. He is on Confit, so I mean, it could be anything. <laughs> Tony's just setting cards. <laughs> okay. It's, Jackalope. So that, you can't activate because you're both at zero monsters. Correct. I can't imagine this is correct. He's trying to break the Scald Lock for one turn, knowing that the card on the top of his deck has to win it for him. So here comes the Jackalope. All right, that's the end of monster effect activations. What do you got? Oh, he drew something. Uh, it's, it's, no, uh, you can't activate a danger. Yep, I'm Jeff, sorry, Jeff's friend. stopping him. Now you control a monster. Mystic Mind does not care where those back. effects activate. Oh, that's it. Oh, it's, Jeff, lock it's him out, Jeff, baby. Jeff just needs now. Jeff just needs the insurance of like a prohibition or he needs one of his win condition cards, right? He yep. needs one of his cauldrons or final countdown. Yep. And, uh, you know, he's got all the time in the world to find them. Uh, Tony would have to end on a top deck of, like, MST, MST, MST to get anything done here. But even with the top decks, like, Goddess Skull just gets to sculpt the deck every single turn. He's no, not as in, they'd have to be three answers in a oh, row. Oh, sure, <laughs> That's right. That's the so, only so way. So he would literally, I see what you're saying, yes. Which, I mean, isn't, there's a chance, like, a very slim chance that that could happen, but it's highly unlikely. <laughs> It, this is the old uh, Jace Fate Seal. Uh, when your opponent starts uh, reordering your deck and not changing the order of the cards, you know the game is over. One for one okay. does shuffle the deck, and yes. that might be good enough. One for yeah. I mean, at this point, if you're Tony, you're just thinking. I think the funny thing was though, was there a twin twister in those three cards? Oh God, I hope <laughs> not. <laughs> Granted, Tony doesn't know that. To be yeah. fair. Okay, so here comes Souls. Souls is sweet. It I lets mean, you cycle cards if Mystic yeah. Mind isn't on the field. Yeah, exactly. I'm just curious what Tony's gonna. I mean, is he just, he's probably trying to thin his deck, right? I mean, th what else could you be doing at this point? I would save the one-for-one one shuffle uh, until I had the ability to draw a card, try and out my lock. I don't think so. I mean, I feel like if you're Tony... No changes. If you, Sorry. If you're Tony, if you have the means to get to, to, to thin your deck to slightly increase the probability of seeing one of your outs... Even under the Scold Lock, why would you not do it? Well, it doesn't increase the uh, possibility of seeing one of your outs. If you're only shuffling the deck but not performing any draws, he'll just Scald you on his turn. But to be fair, I mean, if you get the deck small enough, you're going to have the higher likelihood of those cards coming together. Oh, I think it's more likely that you'll find one of your many ways to draw cards, and then you would prefer to have the like uh, deck shuffled before you activate that, then the thinning is going to matter. I mean, it's possible, possible. it will. And honestly, like... Jeff's win condition here is like decking. Yeah, I mean, deck deck out could happen. I don't. I think Jeff will probably find an out before that happens, because the likelihood of him hitting one of his uh, yeah, like you have to hit Twin Twister before he finds one of his Solemns or Dark Bribes or Cursed Seals. Right. Oh, 
chat chat says the top three cards included two twister and he just shuffled it no away no way oh I, no <laughs> I'm so sorry, Tony. This is assuming chat's telling the truth. Yeah, chat would never lie. Absolutely. Also, big shout-outs to all 2,300 of you guys watching the man, the myth, the legend, Jeff Leonard here. That's it. There's a left That's arm. That's it. That's it. That's it. Does he have enough cards to use left arm? But he's got judgment. Oh, droll? Okay, fine. Yeah, I've got to. Wait, you can't activate yeah. droll? No, he can't droll because there's Mystic Mine. <laughs> Sir, that droll is not going to do anything. Did Come he, on. Did he take it back? Oh, he's, he's firing. I think he's firing arm, left. Yeah. yeah, he's firing left arm. Okay. Wait, is he? I'm not sure. Now well, let's see. Um, hopefully. Oh, we're sending our little gremlin. Okay, he's out there. luckily he's got a skulls oracling, so yep. that's fine. I mean, I always buy him some time while Nim Nim goes and checks to make sure. Hello, sir. Did you know the droll is a monster effect? Oh, it looks like he took it back. He yeah. took it back. Okay, good. So that's fine. That means that Jeff can left. I, does Jeff have enough cards in hand? He does. He does, yeah. Yep. And this should seal it. Now he gets. Yep. Oh, and there's and the win there's condition. And there's the cauldron. Yep. So now Tony has seven <laughs> turns to find a win condition. Or, or excuse me, an out. And, uh, and it's got to be the same out three times. Correct. He needs three spell and trap removal cards in the form of spell and trap removal to out this. Otherwise, Jeff Leonard will be moving on to round eight and one win away from a pro play tour invitational top. I am with losing Mystic my mind. mind. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best version of the deck so far, for sure. Uh, to those of you saying you can't twin twister because of field barrier, yeah, uh, there was a point in time where you could twin twister uh, the field barrier, and then Mystic Mind would destroy of its own volition. But now with monsters on the field, that is not the case. Yes, correct. And now here we go, Cauldron going up to six. So now we're going to deal 600 to Tony. This is actually two Jeff's first feature match that he's won. Well, we don't. Let's oh, not true. jinx that's, it. That's true. I mean, <laughs> I, the lock is still going, so I shouldn't say anything. But if Jeff wins, let me say it that way, um, this will be his first feature match that he's won. That is correct. We had him on twice, and he lost both of them. Well, it was funny. He at the last Pro Play Tour Orlando, he went seven and one, and the only game he lost was on stream. Unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's nine. But that's nine. So chat's saying that was double twin on top. Uh, wow. Um, I hope he doesn't find a way to triple twin because that's the way it would happen. The Ooh, thing is, is though, that, it, is that, a, that looks like a cursed seal. Was that a cursed seal? Oh, it looks like a cursed oh seal. Oh, my God. Is that double he twin? Says, you can have I, it. I think it is double it, it twin because he like keeps it. putting the card on top that's on the bottom. Keeps drawing monsters. Wow. Tony, Tony, Tony. I think Tony's just, like, discarding for hand size every turn now. All right, here we go. So this is going to be 12. <laughs> this man has managed to, like, win a different way. Like he Every has, single game. He, he, for those of you watching, this man has resolved final countdown on stream before. Yeah. <laughs> We've resolved final countdown. He's decked someone in his previous match. Uh, the, true, um, the true energy behind the deck is uh, Jeff's determination. You can say what you want about Mystic Mind Burned, but yeah. this is legendary. Oh, yeah. I mean, and it's also if everyone against, was on this deck, I'd hate it. Jeff, it, I'll take that. And it's also against Spiral, yeah. right? Like, everyone's already like, oh, Spiral's coming back. Oh, no. But, like, this is, oh, man, this is great. I mean, think, if it was a Spiral Mirror, all this time we're spending Goddess Skulzing, you would just be watching uh, Spiral build a board. <laughs> Jeff keeps He's putting found a the monster every single turn. Jeff just keeps putting the top, the bottom card on top because there is double twin on the top of Tony's deck. If there is a way that a third twin can manifest itself to the <laughs> <laughs> normal summoning confit, that was the most angry summon I've ever seen. I know. I'm looking at Tony's face and like he is just so. He's livid. He is. <laughs> yeah, livid would be a very accurate description. And right for now. what it's worth, uh, he he is right to be. Uh, this is absolutely absurd. We're going to Scald here. We just need one more monster, and the game is wrapped up. Ooh. That was a... S was that wait, triple wait, twin? was that triple was that twin? twin? Oh, my God. Wait, no. It, it is it's it's triple twin <laughs> twister. Does he have the out? I mean, we're going to find out. Please tell me he has the out. <laughs> Please tell me he has the out. I mean... He has to have the answer. You said you saw Curse Seal, right? I, I saw a trap card. I mean, only one kind of trap card is in Jeff's Here deck. we go. This is this is going to be it. Uh, he's asking for targets. These two. <laughs> <laughs> and Solemn Judgment. All right. Well, that should be good enough. 
All right, so Jeff's going to take 4,000. Draw for turn, fire off the uh, the old man, and that is uh, that is all she wrote, that I believe. That is game, I believe. All right, he did it. That's going to do it. <laughs> Jeff Leonard moves on, and there's only one round left in the Pro Play Tour Invitational Swiss rounds. I'm losing it. I'm losing it. Uh, the triple twin twister. I mean, oh, how could that be more? There was no way that could have been scripted. Like, no, for sure. The triple twin twister on the last possible moment to out the cauldron to at least give you a modicum of a chance <laughs> to win that game. Oh, man. And he had the solemn judgment. Like, oh. I mean, you could not have written that any better. Oh, absolutely not. Jeff Leonard is an absolute monster. We got to get him for an interview. Oh, we 100% have to get him for an interview. Uh, guys, we will be right back with the man himself. Do not go anywhere, but definitely let your friends know that this is going on because if this happens, <laughs> I think people are going to absolutely lose their minds. But we will be right back with the man himself. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the man, the myth, the legend, Jeff Leonard. How are you doing, Jeff? Real good, Alex. It's real good oh to see gosh. you again. And that after after that match, <laughs> oh my god. So so let's talk about that. Um yeah. first of all, for those of you who don't know, um, I was telling you, um, telling everyone about you and your son, yes. your father son duo that just play the game. That's um, right. Why don't you go ahead and just give a little introduction about yourself just for uh, all the uh, twenty four hundred people who might be new to who right. you are. We have been playing Yu Gi Oh ever since the game started. We sure. bought the original starter decks and we've been playing for what's it been, eighteen, nineteen years sure. or something like that. Mm -hmm. And we've been playing off and on and you know, he he's really into it, very competitive. So I've got to find something, but he tells me my little pea brain can't handle the combo decks, so I have to find something, and I found Mystic Mind. He, he, he showed it to me. I said, that's my card, and I'm sticking to it. And I think the best part about this is, uh, one, you turn it into a mat, so you don't hide oh, yeah. anything from your opponent, oh, yeah. which uh, is great. Uh, 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 I might have to show that. Yeah, too. we can maybe bust it out. <laughs> and then the second part I think is hilarious is that your, your son is playing – uh, spiral, which right. is the which is we were telling people is the most represented that's deck, right. and uh, you're you're doing way better than him right now. Yeah, <laughs> I, and and that's just what ha happens. I will look to see what he's playing, and I'll try to counter it. And sure. there it is, spiral, and that's that's what I got to play right there. Yeah. So let's talk about that last match yeah. real quick. Oh um, my gosh. Man, uh, I, I don't even know where to begin. So, essentially, I was explaining to people how Cauldron of the Old Man is essentially yeah. the new wave motion it cannon. It is. So, uh, I mean, if you want to talk about that a little bit. Yeah, it gets me there a little faster than wave motion cannon. Wave motion cannon, basically, I had to take nine turns to get back Correct. to me to, to burn it out, and it had to go to the graveyard. That, too. With Cauldron of the Old Man, I can uh, uh, immediately go ahead and put a counter on it, start the burn. Uh, countdown on it, 300, 600, 900, and in seven turns, I've, I've burned it for game. Yeah, and speeding up the clock by two turns could actually matter significantly. It, ab as you just saw, he had three twin twisters on yeah. the top of the deck uh, as I was stacking with guys. Absolutely. I mean, and let's talk about that, too. Like, the he had two twins multiple times, did he not? And he was shuffling, and they kept just going to the top. And, and it, you might have saw it one time. I said, can I shuffle that deck a little bit better? Because they kept showing oh, up. Oh, is that like, what you were I indicating? Like, can yeah. I, can and I shuffled that deck as I kept, and I kept thinking, well, they're just sticking together yeah. or something. Can you do that? Can you <laughs> can you shuffle the deck? I don't know. But I, I had to do something. Of to, course. Yeah. So yeah. I, but luckily, I, you drew the, I think you drew the judgment, like, turn, was it like, like in terms of, like, the clock of Cauldron, yes. like, turn four? Yes. I think you drew the judgment, and, like, we thought it was Cursey. We couldn't <laughs> tell. But we knew it was, like, something. Yeah. yeah. And we're like, okay, we think it's sealed up, but we weren't sure. And then when you, like, the, the way you angled the I twins. I had to show them to you. Yeah, like, we <laughs> saw that, and we were just, it, the chat was losing their <laughs> minds. And, again, you had the out, which is fine. Yeah. But, um, but man, and then this, the goddess skull block, it's just, it's so powerful. It, it's incredible. And uh, prohibition as well. You didn't get to see prohibition this match. Didn't, but it's, I it's, didn't. It's very important to your deck. You want to and, explain that a bit? And, and then, so I I played uh, a game just recently where I called his two outs. I called Cosmic Cyclone and Heavy Storm Duster. And, and after that, I knew I could just deck him out. So I, I, that's how I won that game, was yeah. on a deck out. Absolutely. So you're one win away from, um, I'm, I'm pretty sure you would make top cut. Okay. If you win the you next one, one. okay. I'm, so, uh, so how are you feeling? I, it's I'm feeling pretty good against uh, Spiral uh, Orcus. So if I if those are the de top decks that are rolling, I, I I think I have a good shot. Yeah. What do you What are you most afraid of? Like, what do you not want to uh, run into? 
you know, spiral is very tough if I lose the dice roll to begin with. They set up a very good board, and then I just have to go to game two, and sure. then hopefully I can maybe win a game three. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. So, I mean, you got your fans rooting for you. <laughs> um, I, I think everyone would love to see you in the top 16. Oh. And the thing I think we were talking about the most that we're most excited about, you want a feature match. <laughs> <laughs> again, again. I'm, yeah, it, it's great. It's yeah. great to be on there. Yeah. That's yeah, awesome. So, um, glad, thank you so much for being on the feature match. Thank you for the interview and your time. Guys, Thanks, we will Alex. be back with round eight of the Pro Play Tour Invitational. We're going to give Jeff a break from the feature oh. match, let him focus, and if he makes the top cut, we'll let you guys know for sure. But um, don't go anywhere. The stakes are high. There's 10 grand on the line. We'll be back real soon.